So today I'm going to give you my review of the brand new Boss OC5, the new octave pedal from Boss that launched at the end of 2020. Now over the past few months I've been testing out this octave pedal extensively in a variety of different situations including acoustic guitar and also electric guitar looping with my live looping rig behind me here to turn my guitar into a bass guitar to fatten out my performances. And in today's video I want to share with you some of my thoughts. So first off, let me talk you through some of the different modes on the Boss OC5 and how you actually access them because this is not like your traditional octave pedal that just does octave up and octave down. It actually has a variety of different ways in how it can track the notes and apply the octave effects to the notes depending on how you set the different knobs on the pedal. Now on the Boss OC5, we have a variety of different knob dials over here that we can tweak to actually change out the mode the pedal is running within. Now a fun fact about Boss Stompbox design pedals in general is actually the fact all of the dials are actually recessed beyond the selection switch. So when you're turning your effect on and off, you'll never accidentally click your dials over here because of the very methodically thought out design of this particular Boss style of pedal. All of them are like this, the Boss OC5, RC5, very good, very good design indeed. So let's begin with this selection switch over here. Now this switch allows you to choose between what mode the OC5 is running in. Now if you select Vintage, this will turn the OC5 into an original Boss OC2 and it will become a monophonic octave pedal, which means it can play a single note at a time with the octave effect applied to that note. Now if you switch it over to polyphonic mode, this will introduce a lot more modern features that are present on the OC5. You get access to the new and improved tracking engine and also it allows you to play multiple notes simultaneously, all of which can be applied with an octave effect. Now when you have it set to polyphonic mode, this minus two octave knob over here actually becomes the range control. And this allows you to choose between just sort of polyphonic, applying it to all of the notes or turning it to chord mode. Now if you have it set to chord mode, what will happen is basically the lowest note of the chord you are playing will have the octave effect applied to it. So this means if you have the minus one octave cranked up, for example, if you play an E power chord, the lowest note of that chord is the root note, which is the E. So that will have a bass octave effect applied to the E of that chord, which will really help fatten out your performance. And a very unique situation where this is useful is if you're a solo guitarist, for example, maybe inside of a duo, you've got a vocalist and you playing the guitar, you can apply chord mode and you can play quite finger style-esque playing. And it almost sounds like you have a bass guitarist complementing your playing, transitioning between all of the bass notes within the chords. It really helps you sound a lot bigger than just a guitarist on his own with a vocalist. Now a flagship feature of the Boss OC5 is the new and improved tracking engine. Now this gives you much greater accuracy when performing the notes through the pedal and the octave effect being applied to those notes in a much more accurate and stable fashion. Now as soon as I plugged in the Boss OC5, I instantly noticed this improved tracking. It felt a lot faster, more responsive, and it didn't have that slow sluggish feel that you often get when you play through an octave pedal. Now coming from the Micropog, which was my previous octave pedal from Electro Harmonics, I do prefer the feel and the accuracy of the Boss OC5. And if you wanna see my first impressions and comparison video between those two octave pedals, you can check it out over here for further information. Now, depending on what mode you actually run the Boss OC5 in, you will get varying results with the tracking engine. So if you have the Boss OC5 set to chord mode and you have the range knob set to the lowest value, if you try to play lead parts when the OC5 is configured like this, you will experience a very slow and sluggish response from the octave pedal and you'd think that the tracking engine was just total rubbish. That's because when you have the OC5 set to that particular mode, you're meant to play full chords and it will apply the octave to the lowest note of that chord, which is a brilliant feature and one of the main reasons why I actually bought the OC5 just to fatten out some of my chord playing when I'm performing as a one-man band and it does that absolutely fantastic. But if you change it to the correct mode to play lead parts, you will then experience the new and improved octave tracking engine. You have insanely fast results and it's very accurate. There's no weird glitching when you're playing polyphonic load, no, loads of notes at the same time when you do a really fast lead part. It tracks it extremely well. So now let's briefly talk about the octave up capabilities of the Boss OC5. Now obviously you could use the OC5 to turn your traditional six string electric guitar into a bass guitar by utilizing the minus one octave, but you can also use the plus one octave on the OC5 to turn your six string guitar into technically 
a 12 string guitar. Now me personally, I'm very disappointed by the performance of the plus one octave on the Boss OC5. I just don't think it sounds very good at all. very harsh. It sounds very harsh and brittle in terms of how it's EQing and coming out of the pedal. A second thing I encountered that I was really disappointed about as well is it doesn't come out clean. Now I was using my acoustic guitar directly into the Boss OC5 and the output with the octave up sounded like there was some form of distortion being applied to the octave up effect. And I checked all of my gain levels on the mixer and input levels and things like that on the pedal and it just didn't give me a clean octave up feed. I was using a clean acoustic guitar and that acoustic guitar sounded beautiful with this horrible harsh sounding octave up overdriven effect on the top of it. It just sounded terrible. So me personally, I don't think the octave up feature is usable unless you're using it on an overdriven guitar for lead guitar parts within like a rock track or something like that. Now another notable feature of the Boss OC5 is the dual output capabilities of the pedal. And let me talk about how you could potentially use this. Now with the Boss OC5, we have a single input so we can plug our acoustic guitar into this connection here, for example. And then we have two separate outputs for actually routing the audio out of the pedal. Now, if you use this output jack over here, this will give you the affected signal that has the octave effects applied to it. Now, I usually just run a single cable setup anyways because it's very easy and convenient. You can control your octave levels and your di direct levels over here with just a single cable running straight into the mixer or into my loop pedal, for example. But if you wanted to level this up and give yourself more control and flexibility, by shaping the sound out of this octave pedal, you could actually also use the direct out. Now, if you run a cable in the direct out and the output simultaneously, you now have a separate output for the sub effects. So for example, the bass guitar effects with the octaves will come exclusively out of the output and then out of the direct out will come a clean signal of your acoustic guitar. So this means you could give the front of house mix engineer in the venue that you're playing two separate feeds, one with the octave effects on and a second with the clean acoustic guitar sound on. And then they have full control in how they can direct that sound to the subwoofers in the stage or how they want to EQ it further on the mixer to get even more awesome sounds out of the Boss OC5 for very premium sounding results. Now this wouldn't be much of a Boss OC5 review if we didn't briefly talk about the brand new vintage mode that's present on this octave pedal. Now if you turn the selection switch to vintage mode on the OC5, this will completely transform the functionality of your octave pedal. It will turn the OC5 into a Boss OC2. Now the Boss OC2 was the original octave pedal Boss released way back in the day and it's super iconic. Now I'm not going to say in this review how authentic and realistic the OC2 mode is on the OC5 because I've never tried a Boss OC2 because those pedals existed before I existed and they're no longer really in circulation now that I am a human being. But what I can tell you about the OC2 mode is what the pedal actually does. Now, when you have it set to vintage mode, the range knob on the OC5 now becomes a minus two octave. So this now means you have an extra octave. So you've got a minus one octave and now you have a minus two octave, which means you can get even lower notes coming out of this pedal. Another thing the vintage mode does as well is it turns the OC5 from a polyphonic octave pedal, which means you can play multiple notes at the same time and have octave effects applied to that. It turns it from polyphonic to monophonic, which means the Boss OC5 can only play one octave at a time, which gives you a much more vintage and classic sort of glitchy tracking sound, which is really cool in combination with like fuzz and overdrive, very filthy guitar tone with your amplifier. Now from my testing, the minus two octave kind of has some hit and miss results. Now if you're playing lead parts high up on the guitar neck, the minus two octave sounds absolutely awesome. It really fattens out and creates some really unique sounds coming out of your electric guitar. However, if you're trying to play extremely low notes, like for example, just the low E string on your guitar, the tracking starts to malfunction a little bit. It can't seem to track the minus two octave as accurately when playing the lower notes. 
So if you're really hoping to get a super fat sub with that minus two octave, you may be slightly disappointed in how it tracks in the OC2 mode. Now this is mainly because obviously it's trying to emulate the vintage pedal, which doesn't have as intelligent tracking as the OC5 does in the more modern modes, but it's something to be aware of if you were hoping to push the minus two octave in more of a lower frequency way, as opposed to a higher frequency way on the octave pedal. Now, if you want to see more product reviews just like this one, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and also turn the notification bell to on so you don't miss any of my future videos. But as always, I've been Ben Rollins. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.